Hey everybody, it's Lisa from ToCreateWebsite.com. Really excited about this video today. I recently purchased Artisteer, and this is not a new tool, but it was new to me. I was a little hesitant about looking into this because I assumed template builder, design builder is gonna be maybe something that created these outdated looking sites and they would all look the same and you wouldn't be able to get in and make any type of custom edits. Cause I'm the type of person, I have some CSS knowledge, you know, enough to, to be dangerous as I always say, but I'm not a real designer, but I like to get a start maybe by using an existing pre-designed template and then go in later and make my own custom edits. Well, this tool Artisteer is perfect for that. And I know there's going to be some designers watching this now that are going to be overly critical of these types of tools. Well, stay tuned because I have a message about that at the end of this video. So let me show you what this is all about. Okay, so as you can see on the home screen here, you can choose what you want to design for. Blogger, WordPress, or, or a regular static HTML page. Let's do WordPress since I know a lot of my viewers use WordPress. So you know how you're thinking about designing a site. A lot of times you have no idea what you want it to look like. Maybe you only know you want two columns or three columns, but you really don't have an idea about the header, the, the background and all that. So you can come up here to suggest design, right? And you click it. And right away, it's going to give you a completely different design. So I can click this as many times as I want to click it and each time I click something completely different will come up so I'm just gonna keep clicking until I find something that is in the ballpark of what I want okay so let's say this is what I want I've got three columns here got a tall header I've got a menu up here with a drop down that's along the lines of what I'm looking for but maybe I don't really like this color scheme, right? So let's go up to colors and fonts and we can click the color scheme and a boatload of different color schemes will come up. Let's choose the ginger and pepper color scheme. And right away it just changes all of the colors. And if you want to add your own colors with the hex color codes, you can do that too by coming over here and then you click more colors and then you can enter the actual hex color code if you know the code. So you can be very specific with this. So let's go over here to the layout. Maybe you want two columns instead of three columns. So you can come over here and click two columns and then right away it changes your blog to two columns. The page layout, if you want the header then the menu then or if you want the menu then the header you can change that I mean the options are limited or unlimited I'm sorry <laughs> unlimited let me make that clear you can upload your own background image um, the sheet what is that okay the sheet is see I'm still learning this tool to you guys the sheet is actually the entire container of your site here so right now if you want your site to have more rounded corners see how the layout of the container went from the rounded corner with the shadow behind it so you can change that you can change the actual width of your site right now it's at 900 maybe you want it to be a thousand you can change that so hopefully you're starting to see how detailed you can get my favorite part is the header let's say you want to add a person you can come here click this little guy up here add him but maybe you don't like where he's um, positioned maybe you want to move them over to the left a little bit you can click position drag them over say okay and then he'll move I mean and maybe you don't like him you can choose from a number of different header pictures maybe you want this cool guy here with sunglasses instead now a note about the images you can use these images here in the header but you cannot use the images down here in the body these you do not have a license to use these so these are just placeholders you will have to put your own images that you have rights to in here the only images they give you with artist to use for your project are the header images okay so I just want to make that clear images in the body you won't have license to use so this is just for the design when you export this this will uh, go into your onto your computer without this image here but you will get your header images so I want to definitely clear that up 
So you guys, it just continues. You can um, change your vertical menu, your sidebar. If you want to change the look of how your sidebar looks down here, you can change it completely by using this design editor up here. Amazing. I could go on for this. This video could be 40 minutes long if I wanted it to be, but I won't do that to you guys because there's so many different options. So let's say you're ready to export this and you're ready to make your own custom edits and you're ready to upload it to your site. You come over here, click this little palette and you're going to say export and then you say export WordPress theme. And then you're going to give it a name. We're just going to call it WP for WordPress and it's going to go on my desktop and I'm going to say export. Right away, it creates this folder. This probably looks familiar to you if you're a WordPress user. This is your WordPress theme right here. So you just upload this WP folder into your WordPress themes folder using an FTP program. So I have connected to my site using Fire FTP, which is an FTP add-on that you can use with Firefox. I love Fire FTP because it just opens up a new tab. You don't have to open up a new application to FTP. It's wonderful. So all I would do is come over here, find the folder on my desktop, which is right here. There's the WP folder. Use this arrow, arrow it over right into my themes folder for WordPress. So I go to WP content themes and right there, I would throw that folder right in there. And so when I log into my WordPress admin panel, I'll see that folder right there and I can start, you know, updating my design just like that. It's that easy. And if you had a static website, it'd be a similar approach. You would export it as a static HTML, then upload the folder to your site and you are ready to rock and roll. You guys, I absolutely love this thing. The only criticism I would have for this is that the code that it creates is fairly bloated. Even though it claims to do W3C validated code and it matches the standards for W3C validation, the code is kind of clunky because of all the design options. So I've actually been using this to redesign to create a website and I have had to really clean up the code. It's not necessary, but I don't want a whole bunch of bloated code because it may slow your page loading time down and all that. So that's the one thing I did not like about the, um, the program. So you guys, overall, I think this is a great tool. Real quick note to the designers that are going to be hating on this video. Every time I do a video like this, where I recommend uh, a builder or something like thesis, I build it, whatever. A designer will always come and say, well, if you were a real designer, you wouldn't need this type of tool. Let me just tell you guys something. I am not a real designer. I am an affiliate marketer who makes a living online, not because I'm a designer, but because I'm a marketer and I love to write and I love to communicate with people online. That's my skill. I don't want to spend my days designing, staring at code. I know just enough CSS to become dangerous. Tools like this give people like me a jump start on the design. So we can export it to our computers, edit the CSS a little bit, and then go on our way. So if you're a designer and you're upset because you feel threatened that these tools take your business, hey, work with the system. One thing you can do, contact some of these people that own these things and say, hey, I'm a designer. Let's work together. I can incorporate some of my designs and then you can make money that way. That way you're staying relevant in a world that is moving toward builders. This is the future, you guys. There will always be room for talented web designers because like I said, you're gonna wanna export this and make your own custom edits using CSS. I always do because these tools alone will not do it. This is not an editor, it's just a design tool. You still need Dreamweaver or Notepad or whatever you use to make any custom edits because you can't edit the CSS code. So there's always gonna be room for designers, but no need to be snarky or arrogant about these types of things because guys, this is the future. Most people are like me. They don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on a web designer, but they wanna be able to do it themselves and have a decent looking site. So that's why tools like Artisteer will never go anywhere. That's why they're so popular and hats off to the smart person that thinks of these things because it's absolutely genius for people like myself and I make up the majority. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Get yourself a copy of Artisteer. Yes, that's an affiliate link on the screen. Thanks for watching you guys. If you have a blog, join their affiliate program, review it like I'm doing, and make a little bit of money. I think you'll be very, very happy with this program. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.